Hi, my name is Luiren, and this is the first video showcase for my upcoming AI and Combat Resource Pack for using your stencil games. If you've been following my Twitter, you've seen that I've been posting semi-regularly about the features of this resource pack. So today, I've decided to make a video about the Action Manager behavior. Please take a look. This was a full battle against the boss of the simple game that will come with this resource pack. Now I'll go over how the AI is set up in the action manager behavior for this actor. Keep in mind that what I explained here in regards to the boss's AI might differ from the final version of the simple game, and that this pack works both for platformers and top-down games. A proper step-by-step -step will be done for the actual tutorial video once this pack is released. In the Action Manager behavior, you configure a list of all the actions that can be called. This doubles as a priority list, with items on top having priority over the items on the bottom. Each action has its own percentage chance of being called, number of times it can be called, an action index, and its own conditions to check. Action index is similar to the phase of the AI, starting at action index 0, only actions that match the current action index can be called. You can set or modify the action index on each action, and you can specify actions that happen regardless of the current index. When calling an action, it can be a trigger, an action sequence, or an action from the command list behavior. Now let's go over each of the boss's attacks. It starts its AI patterns as soon as the player enters its range. Alternatively, it has the option to retaliate against an actor that attacked it. Its first three actions correspond to the dynamic soundtrack. As its health drops, it calls an action to cue the next piece of the soundtrack.
On action index 0, it can use Dark Spear or Dark Wave. Both increment the action index by 1. On action index 1, it can use Fire Energy or Dark Energy, incrementing the action index by 1. On both indexes 0 and 1, it has a 50% chance of performing a melee attack, which doesn't advance the action index. On action index 2, it uses Dark Bomb and resets to action index 0, forming an AI loop. Every 60 seconds, it calls either the Triple Bomb or Barrage sequences, configured in the action sequence behavior. Each has three distinct actions, flying to the background, performing the attack, and flying back while switching sides. This doesn't advance the action index number. When its health reaches below 25%, it will execute a desperation move. This is only executed once throughout the entire battle. Afterwards, the attack pattern changes a bit. On action index 1, it uses a mix of both fire and dark energy as a single attack. For the timed attack, it now waits 30 seconds instead of 60, and uses both the barrage and the triple bomb in the same attack. The dynamic soundtrack feature is now included in my miscellaneous end cutscene packs, and you can get them right now, links in the description. To end this video, I'll leave you with a second battle against the boss, using only the fireball, melee attacks, no flight, and a little surprise at the end. I'll have links in the description below to my itch.io page, where you can get my stencil resources, as well as to my Twitter, where you can get updates on what I'm currently working on. Like and subscribe for more stencil content, and thank you so much for watching.